Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. This is a huge week inside of the stock market. There are a number of great companies having their earnings report this week, and if you're paying attention to the market, this could be a great opportunity to come in and grab some great companies at a great price, or you could take some risk and make a gamble and predict that this company is gonna do well on the earnings report. Now, during this earnings report, you have to pay attention if, if these stocks are at an all-time high or if they're at that 52 week low there are a number of companies having that earnings report this week that are inside the same sector some are having those on monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday so if you see a trend of the energy sector just doing great on Monday, another energy company do great on Tuesday and Wednesday, then you could go in and make a prediction that this energy company that's gonna have their earnings report on Friday is also gonna do great. Or you could even make a prediction that uh, food companies tanked on Monday, tanked on Tuesday, earnings tanked on Wednesday, and then another food company is having their earnings report on Friday. These are the patterns that you could pay attention to during this amazing earnings week in, in order to hopefully make some money inside the stock market this week. And I'm gonna show you guys my strategy on how I plan on playing earnings week. So make sure that you stay throughout the entire video so you don't miss out on any crucial information. But before we dive into this video, this video is brought to you by Webull. Sign up now by clicking the link down in the description. Deposit any amount of money. You can deposit one penny if you want to and you'll receive three free stocks valued up to $3,300. With those three free stocks, you could keep them inside the platform and decide to use it. Or you can sell those three free stocks and withdraw all of your money. Guys, it's literally free money. Do not miss out on this opportunity. Also, I'm gonna leave a link in the description to Coinbase. That's by far the easiest way to buy and sell cryptocurrency. Um, use my code down in the description and you'll get a free $10 worth of Bitcoin just from using my code. And also the last link is to Moomoo. Moo. Sign up, deposit $100 with Moomoo Moo, and you'll receive five free stocks valued up to $17,000. Once again, you could keep those five free stocks inside the platform or you can sell those five free stocks. Guys, it's free money. Do not miss out on this opportunity. But enough talking. Let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back dreamers and non-dreamers because 65% of you guys that are watching this video are not subscribed to the channel. So let's go ahead by clicking that subscribe button and the thumbs up button that helps out this channel more than you can even imagine. And let's try to try to drop that from 65 to around 60. So here we are on the earnings whisper. They made a, a calendar on some of the top companies that are having earnings this week. So we're gonna go through Monday and Friday. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you which companies I'm having my eye on and which companies I'm planning on grabbing if company A or B does this during the earnings report, right? So make sure that you stay throughout so you don't get confused. Also this week, I might actually take some gambles on risk and try to predict which way the market is gonna move. So on Monday, before the market opens, we have Berkshire Hathaway. I'm absolutely gonna pay attention to that one. That's on Warren Buffett's um, ETF. Um, after market on Monday, the ones I'm paying close attention to is Lucid, Zoom, Blink, in HP. Now, if Zoom does not meet expectations during the earnings report, that means they didn't meet um, the earnings per share goal that they was expected to meet. So if Zoom takes another crash, just um, Zoom is a company that I'm absolutely going to buy the dip um, if Zoom do not meet expectations. If they do meet expectations and their stocks shoot up, then hey, good for Zoom. But if they do pull back, that is gonna be a great buying opportunity for me on Zoom. I'm gonna buy the bottom, I'm gonna buy the dip and wait for Zoom to eventually recover. Or if not, that's me getting in at a great price. I'm gonna dollar cost average in on Zoom. The next one after Zoom would be Lucid. They're already making vehicles. I like the look of their vehicles in the CEO behind Lucid. So if they take a dip, I'm gonna buy some Lucid shares as well. But once again, if they shoot up, then I missed out on the opportunity. But um, those are the two companies where if they miss expectations, I'm going to buy the dip. Now here we are on Tuesday. Tuesday we have Target, Domino's, and I'm going to pay attention aftermarket to SoFi, Plug, in wish now if target does well i might buy some shares if it goes up that means they're out of their slump domino's pizza if that takes a dip i'm gonna buy some shares so far i'm hoping that goes up wish i own some shares of that i'm hoping that goes up plug i own maybe one or two shares of that and i'm also hoping that goes up um, to get out of their downtrend line but if they do take a dip i'm probably not going to get in on 
plug or I wish I'm just gonna hold on, wait for them to start to show recovery and then buy some shares on the way back up to recovery. Now, before I show you guys a pattern, let's get through the rest of the week first. All right, here we are on Wednesday. The biggest one I have on Wednesday is of course, Charge Point and Snowflake. Now, now Charge Point I own around 200 shares of Charge Point. So uh, I, I'm hoping that they do not take a dip. Charge Point is the largest vehicle um, electric charging station company in the world. Um, the world has started to moving more towards um, electric vehicles. No matter what car manufacturer it is, they're eventually gonna have electric vehicle inside of their lineup. So the world is starting to move towards electric vehicles as the technology becomes better. So why not own gas stations for gas combustion cars? Uh, that's the same thing as owning electric vehicle stations for the electric vehicle future. So that's why I invest heavily into charge point. I need that one to recover because I do have in some leaps on charge point. So I hope that does recover. Um, guys, if you do want to be a part of a great trading community and uh, know every single time I buy and sell stocks and want, and want to keep up with what I'm doing this week, doing these um, earnings weeks, go down to the comment section. That'll take you to my Patreon, the Patreon to take you to my Discord. Over there in the Discord, I do technical analysis all the time. Once again, I announce every single time I buy and sell a stock. I post all of my option trades in there. We have pro option traders in there that post um, day trades every single day and you will have access to a community of traders that have a whole bunch of knowledge all in one place. I also post all of my cash secure puts in there and other ways that I make passive income. I post that all inside the Discord. So if you wanna be a part of a great community, go ahead and click that link down in the comment section. All right, so that's gonna take us to Thursday. Thursday, of course, is gonna be Best Buy, Kroger's, TD Bank, and Gap. I love Gap because Kanye West now. And then on Friday, not, not too much interested on anything on Friday. So let's take a look at um, Tuesday and Thursday. So Target and Kroger's is very closely related. They are both grocery stores. So if Target outperforms the market, if they outperform their earnings, then you could kind of expect Kroger's to do the same thing. Also, if Target takes a dip, then you could look at um, Kroger's to take a dip as well. So those are closely related. So you can look at the previous earnings reports from the days before and kind of play out what a similar company in the same sector might do. So you could go in with a small option call on Kroger's expecting it to go up if Target does well and beat earnings on Tuesday. There are also other patterns in here that you can follow like Domino's Pizzas and other food restaurants in here. You can also look at technology stores like Best Buy. There are multiple banks on here. There are multiple different sectors in here that's all on the same level. So if you guys want to pay attention to how earnings go to, uh, goes this week to make a prediction for the future, make sure that you pay attention throughout this entire chart and don't just look at one company, look at the sector, guys. But that's it, guys. This is a quick video this week. I just wanted to bring you guys some of the top companies that have an earnings report this week and, and exactly how I'm planning on play these companies inside of the Discord. And also, they, we have people inside the Discord that track some of these companies every single day. So they kind of going to predict which way the market is going to move for that company, if they're going to be earnings or not. Um, they've been pretty good at predicting that. So once again, if you want to check out the Discord, that link is down in the comment section. But don't forget to pick up your three free stocks over on Weeble. It's free money, guys. Do not miss out on that opportunity but other than that i'm zeke bringing you the dream green show and i'm out peace